Hello everyone. A quick reminder, it takes so much courage to shift frequency and to shift consciousness, which is what you're doing right now. When we move into the next highest version of us, which we are all doing consciously or unconsciously, you are literally shifting the vibration and the frequency of light and energy that is in your form right now. You're shifting consciousness. You're evolving your consciousness. And it is a tremendous feat to be actively and consciously doing this. I like to look at it as chapters in a book. And when you are moving from one chapter, which is one frequency, which is one reality, the way you have been doing things for a very long time, the way that you have been unconsciously playing in programs and paradigms and belief systems for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, they are ingrained in your being, meaning that they are unconsciously guiding you through your life. You're comfortable whether you like it or not, whether you want to be in it or not, you're comfortable in it. When you consciously start to wake up and participate in moving your own frequency and consciousness into the next highest level, the next highest notch, you're moving into another chapter of your human experience. And when you do that, you have to let go of and release bravely with love and compassion for yourself the ways in which you've been living, right? The safety, the fears, the old belief systems, all of the ways that you've been living are going to start to rattle and be asked to be released so that you can step into the next version of you, this new chapter. Some of these aspects will come along because they will be vibrating in a similar frequency. Many of these aspects of us can't come along into this new chapter. And this process of moving from one chapter to the next chapter can take many tries, right? We can try many times to let go of a relationship, to speak our truth, to hold firm boundaries, to get out of a job, to start our purpose work, right? We have been trying and doing these things, making efforts towards them for quite some time. It takes courage. It's okay how many times you go towards that next chapter it's, and you fall back into the old chapter, it's okay. Shifting consciousness does not happen overnight. You can't just choose to be in this next chapter and boom, you're in it. There's too much density that we have all been playing in for a very long time that requires us to be aware of it, to understand it, to see it, and to love it into release. We can't just blindly turn our back and say, I don't like this. I'm going to now just choose what feels so great and what I can't wait to step into. Because you'll be pulled back to that old chapter until you're able to see yourself in it, honor yourself in it. And what's happening to a lot of us right now in this new year, in 2020, we are having so much more clarity, right? We are seeing it so much more clearly and our guides, our higher self, that aspect of us, the higher self is getting so loud for so many of us that we can't ignore it anymore. We being the ego personality, we can't ignore it. We have to shift. We have to make that active choice. We have to act, actually physically speak the words. We don't have a choice anymore. It's that beautiful place that I love to speak be in, which is the choice of no choice. Now we have to take action. And this message is to remind you that you're okay wherever you are. And you are so, so, so courageous for trying and for doing this, for moving into that next chapter, for trusting that you're safe, that you're held, that you can make that jump. You can make that leap. You can make that change. You can speak those truths. And yes, you may feel fear 
loneliness, sadness, anger, whatever human emotions and experiences you may have, it's okay. It's part of the process of shedding the old frequency and moving into the new frequency. This new frequency that we are constantly moving into, there's always another one, holds more abundance, more love, more joy, more freedom, more alignment. And we are consciously moving and then we're moving again, right? And it's all internal. It's all within us. So just know that everything that, that is boiling up, everything that's coming to the surface right now, all of the pushes and the pulls and the desires for you to move and to shift, get rid of things, get rid of relationships, get rid of jobs, get rid of career, whatever it is that's happening, bring in these new relationships, these new careers, this new way of being, this new aspect of how you're going to receive money or how you're going to do work, whatever it is, right? Just know that everything that's coming up is always for your highest good. Always for your highest good. What does that mean? It's always moving you into that next chapter where you will be more aligned, more open, more of who you are. It's going to release you from the shackles of the more dense consciousness. Okay? So take your time, but also know that right now you are being kicked. You are being pushed and nudged, and it's not going to get quieter. You're safe to shift. You're safe to jump. You're safe to leap. It would not be happening in your reality right now if it wasn't time, especially if it's been coming up over and over and over. Did you guys just see that huge orb? It just went by. So be patient. Be loving to yourself. Be compassionate to yourself. And please hold the remembrance. Hold the knowingness that everything that is coming up right now, every emotion, every thought, every belief, every paradigm, it's the old chapter allowing you to release it with deep surrender and compassion and the choice of saying, wow, this is the old chapter. I honor it. I see it. I acknowledge it. And I am being nudged to move into this new aspect of me this new consciousness that I'm holding in my body, which requires me to release the old and to pull in new realities, new experiences, new ways of being. This process is the ascension journey. It does not happen overnight. You can't just jump into that, right? This is too dense. You've got to take your time, but we've been doing that for quite some time. This 2020 year is to jump, it's to leap, it's to do it, it's to be it, it's to stand in it. I love you. You are held, you are loved, you are seen. This is why you are in physical form. This is why you're here, to physically feel and move through this evolution in consciousness within your physical form the shifting of the energetic frequency within your physical form. And you're doing it so bravely, so courageously, not wrong. You haven't skipped a beat. Keep going. I love you. Off we go. On to the next chapter. Take care of yourself.